Hey Pyros, Valmir here at Elite. Guys, we are at Elite Fireworks of New Hampshire. Now we got an aftermath video for you guys. Now for those of you who are new to our channel, this has been an ongoing tradition on this channel where the day after the big day, we typically go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the aftermath, talk a bit about the fireworks season, the good, the bad, the ugly, basically, we like to be very transparent with you guys and just show you and just talk about fireworks. Now, obviously, uh, we have done this before at Elite Fireworks of Texas, but I am a couple days behind, by the way. So today is actually the Monday that I'm recording that we're going to upload the video. It is the Monday of that day. So I am a little bit behind, but here in New Hampshire, as an example, because we can sell year round, I'll be honest with you guys, we were very busy this weekend, even though the store itself, obviously July 4th was this past Thursday. Now, definitely we were very, very busy, but as you can see, especially the one section that we really got cleaned out dramatically is of course our up to 500 gram cakes. I mean, guys, basically if we were to not count all the no abs, which we have on the other side, or any of the two inch shots. Any, I mean, realistically, for instance, like kick brass from T-Sky, this is a no ab as well. So it's nine on a board. Same thing with best of breeds. Uh, if, we were to dis if we were not to count any of those, the only up to 500 gram cakes that we have is Kickstarter, Blue by Black Cat, Zumba. So that's from Brothers as well. And then of course, we do have some gender reveal cakes which are over there but all in all any of our box kits basically they flew off the shelf matter of fact by july 1st we barely had any box kits which really sucks because as a new fireworks retailer in new hampshire obviously we're trying to let people know that hey we have a very different model but of course it's very difficult to do it when you don't have the products and i wish we were better prepared but Honestly guys, we didn't expect leading to Memorial Weekend to be as busy as we were, so we did cl get cleaned out of some varieties and that's why we brought more, but not much. And if you've seen the store tour, obviously right here in the middle, typically we do have a bunch of zippers or any of our box kits that we leave on special, but obviously that's gone. So we've actually moved at the back, as you can see the rails there. But any zippers, we are basically completely cleaned out. And the funny thing is, when it comes to our solar eruption, we had a full container come in directly from China of elite items. Uh, we had 260 solar eruptions. They did not even make it until like July 2nd or 1st, one of the days, which is ridiculous, but it is one of the best zipper cakes, if not the best in the market. We have cleaned up the store a little bit because after all, we are actually, we have shipments coming directly from China and of course from elite of Texas, because after all in Texas, it's a seasonal business. This is year round, so obviously during summer, people shoot a lot of fireworks. Right now, of course, it's a Monday, so it's a very slow day, but that's why we have kind of like started organizing things, but of course, we still need to move things forward. But as, an, as you can see, there is definitely a decent amount of empty space, and I'll be honest with you guys, I mean, obviously because we are not established here in New Hampshire, so we thought we had enough fireworks because we have three containers in the back, as well as the storage here, which I mean, you can fit a lot of fireworks just here in the back. So we love having this small storage behind the store. But I mean, this is all that we have left over, which realistically you might be like Valmir, you have way too much fireworks still left over. And absolutely we do, but we don't have much cakes. For instance, when it comes to cakes, we have Prime Punch, which came in that shipment directly from China. And then we have Ginger Strike. So that's pretty much it. The only two that we have that are gonna be in the back. And a lot of the other stuff, it's shells really that we've had from uh, multiple shipments that we've gotten directly from China, as far as for instance from Winda or Raccoon. And obviously because we still haven't started shipping, obviously right now these are not gonna move as fast, but pretty soon actually we're gonna start shipping. So before New Year's, it is in our agenda that we are gonna have shipping ready for you guys. I know so many of you, I mean, you have no idea. So many of you have been waiting for shipping from Elite Fireworks, but it is finally here and we're excited for it. We launched a new site, which we haven't really talked much about it. Now, obviously when it comes to Hydro Bomb, obviously this is our most popular canister shell, but for a reason, 
Price point wise, you cannot beat the case for $200. I mean, literally we had people coming, just grab hydras and gingers, a couple cases of hydra, a couple cases of gingers. It's just an unbeatable price. Even if it was an okay shell, it's an unbeatable price, but given that the quality that Elite is known for and the price is just, again, it is a very good deal. Obviously with a lot of the box kits still, we've sold a lot and especially leading to Memorial Weekend actually, we did sell a lot of these uh, raccoon shells. You cannot see it on here, but we did have decently amount of them. For instance, Holy Nishika, this is actually the last box kit that we have. So we don't have no more box kits of that. Of course, we're going to be placing an order from Raccoon very soon. Now, obviously, as you can see, so mortars are a little bit more of a higher ticket item. And we had a lot of them. So, of course, we have a lot more left over. But yeah, this season, beside 500 gram cakes, we still have decent amount of variety. But of course, I mean, overall, it was a successful season. You know, can't complain, especially because we are new. But of course, we do expect uh, next season to be even better because we are very new to the area. So obviously, a lot of people. Matter of fact, right now is Monday, but on July 5th, July 6th, we had so many people come. And it's very typical in the fireworks industry that on the day after 4th of July, you know, fireworks retailers will have everything 50% off or whatever the scenario. And, you know, we had people come in the store expecting that because, you know, first time even after July 4th. But obviously it's a very different business model because as an example, going back to the Hydra, I mean, we cannot do 50% discount on already $199 for a box kit, which is, you know, for hundred dollars, that is literally will be at a loss if we were to sell that box kit for that price. So that's why a lot of people here, the biggest obstacle here in New Hampshire has been because our model is so different. There's a lot of people, so a little bit of getting used to it because the promos are, it doesn't matter which part of the country you live. I'm positive that the, there's a nearby fireworks store that has buy one, get one, or everything is 50% off whenever you check out. But the problem with that model is that prices are heavily inflated so that's why here at least we try to be a little bit straightforward which of course with the pyro community you guys really appreciate it now we've started stocking up the store from items that we had for instance at the back so obviously this aftermath because it's not exactly the day after it's a little bit different because for example snow cone or snow cone jr as you can see, if you were to look at this, you guys would probably be like, guys, you didn't, you didn't sell any of those. But no, actually, these were our, some of our most popular fountains. There's a reason actually nationwide, this is the most popular fountain because I mean, number one, so many retailers carried and it's a popular item. And of course, there's so many different brands that have copied Winda in regards to having the snow cone uh, shape, really. But anyway, as you, if you were to look at this, you might say like, yeah, you guys have not sold any of that, but no, we sold quite a bit. But also because we are open year round here, unlike the Texas aftermath where after the season, as an example, these items, we'll just shift them all the way to the back. But for instance, with here, because we are open through, Right now it's still operating hours. Obviously we're just gonna put a facade here where it looks more full, just because obviously even for customers, if we were to put them all the way back, these are three feet shelves, like it's gonna be very uncomfortable for someone to go under the shelving and grab an item, right? So we wanna make it easier for the customers. So we have been organizing the store, but obviously a lot of items have been selling. Same thing with this. It looks like we haven't sold anything, but again, we started organizing. Now the one category that it looks like we sold a lot, but also we don't really try to push that many assortments. As you guys do know here at Elite, a lot of the assortments we really don't like and we cannot wait eventually when we start actually making our own assortments because there's a lot of gimmicks when it comes to assortments that I just don't like. I mean, big example right here, Flash Flood. Don't get me wrong, it's a great assortment, but I just don't like too much cardboard. And I know it works because it looks bigger and people fall for it, but, but someone who's very passionate about fireworks, obviously, I'm pretty sure even with you guys, you would rather want more fireworks than cardboard when you're shopping for fireworks. So the more compact we can make the designs or like the more we fill them up, then you guys rather get more fireworks or you get better prices. So obviously that's a win-win 
for everyone. Of course, with assortment itself, obviously, we do have still enough excellent bag, but that's one of our most popular ones. This one and Flying Space from Window, those were the two most popular under $50. And then we had the Black Cat Heritage that was the most popular one actually for under $100. So that's very popular. And then this way we had more of the bigger packages, but we are out of decent amount of them. And we have moved the prices for some of them just because we're out. The Max, of course, was very popular this year. Here, we had like eight, nine cases, which is not a lot, but again, guys, we are not very established here in New Hampshire. For instance, in Texas, I know they'll go through 50, 60 of them each season, like it's nothing. And when it comes to roaming candles, so obviously you do see a lot of our super candles, but Rest assured, this is actually the most popular one. We sell a ton of these and we have a ton of these still available. And then Boom Cannon is also very popular. Some new one that we actually got from Elite of Texas. Uh, so this one, because I know they got a T-Sky order that came in from over there, but uh, this one was extremely popular. So from all the big Roman candles, actually the rotating Gatlin by T-Sky was the most popular. I mean. We got 20 cases and I believe right now we are left with like five, six cases only, which is very successful when it comes to the big Roman candles because they do take time. We did get also this new one, Giant Gatlin, but it didn't sell as well. So there you have it, guys. This was a quick video on the aftermath here at Elite Fireworks of New Hampshire. Now, for those of you who are planning to make the trip here in the near future, within the next 10 to 14 days, we are gonna get a couple truckloads of fireworks. So we're gonna be back stock really well. And by the end of July, we also are gonna have some of our containers that are coming directly from China be here. So definitely in the next three to five weeks, we are gonna be back fully stocked. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. And we'll see you in another video right here on our channel. Bye-bye.